hello, 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 everybody. <clears throat> so, this is going to be going on um, my normal route today, my normal bike riding route. And uh, today's my birthday, April 7th. And I'm out here right now because you know, I just wanted to enjoy some fresh air and whatnot on my birthday. So I'm not going to be I'm not going to be going anywhere, doing anything particularly special. So just gonna jump into this. I normally don't ride on this narrow path, but since there's a car, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of their way. But, uh, yeah, so I was thinking But what to talk about today, I really don't know. Today I am uh, 35. 35 years young. <clears throat> and, uh, And I'm really lucky and fortunate to be able to uh, say that. Lots of people have not had that honor, that pleasure, of being able to say that. <clears throat> All right, I'm straighten up my mirror a little bit. I wish I had my Allen key so I can tighten it, but I don't. So we're gonna to have to deal with the mirror moving more than I want it to. Oh, somebody lost a smoke detector, okay. <sighs> it's a nice day today. About the mid 70s. Kind of breezy a little bit. It's one of those days where it's almost perfect. Almost. So I was taking a look at the crypto markets today, seeing where we stand on some of our investments. And uh, hmm, today on April 7th, things are looking kind of, I mean, you're going down lately. Usually we attribute that to, you know, Bitcoin falling. It hasn't fallen that much. I mean, I think it got close to 60. Then it was like 56. But it caused a lot of altcoins to just dip. For example, Harmony One at one point recently was like around maybe 22 cents. I seen it go down to around 13 cents. Last time I checked, it came back to 16, but it is what it is with that. Uh, Orchid protocol that hit around a dollar and then that fell like around 30 cents but surprisingly the things that aren't really falling all that hard v chain is actually doing a little bit better crossed 11 cents singularity net agi that got up to around 45 cents so I really don't know what's going on. It's not, it's not affecting everything, but you know, it is what it is. It's crypto. If you're going to invest and all of a sudden things drop by 20, 30%, you just gotta wait it out and chill. You know, there was this one project that I got interested in <laughs> that all of a sudden, you know, is not doing so good, but I'm gonna keep holding it anyway. Um, 
is from a company it's called smart key and what I liked about them is that they're doing something similar to what VeChain does and is the reason why I like VeChain and that's because they take the concept of blockchain technology and the benefits that it has and they incorporate it into real world physical use. So what VeChain does is it utilizes the blockchain to help with things like uh, inventory management, supply chain management, so that you can have an idea of where your products are at any given time, tracking their origins, where they've been. It helps with counterfeit production. It could help possibly with recalls of certain foods or any other kind of items, because since that information is always permanently locked into the blockchain, it cannot be altered. It's open so it can be tracked. And they have some really nice partnerships but the coin itself, you know, it just hasn't been worth all that much, but I like it because it's easy to understand, it's practical, and then they also have real world use cases already. And that was kind of the same thing with SmartKey. And what SmartKey does is that it also harnesses the power of the blockchain for physical purposes. Like for example, one real world usage that they have is in a city in Poland where the local government there has actually allowed them to use their product to assist with emergency services to get into gated communities. Uh, because when it comes to gated communities, you know, you can't get in without some type of an access code. Well, using their tech and their blockchain and the app that they develop, they're able to give access to emergency services to let them into gated communities without having to uh, basically wait on anybody else to give them that access and those precious moments could potentially save lives which is absolutely you know incredible so that's one real world application that they have for that and then they also want to expand into other things such as I want to just call it like keyless entry into like rental cars, same concept. And they also, their coin, their token, the smart key token, kind of takes the concept of NFTs, which are blowing up right now, and they're trying to apply more to it than just physical value. The way that I understand it, and I might and I may be wrong, but the way that I understand it is that they can have their coin act as an NFT, which has a very unique set of information that only that NFT has. And then you can embed it, embed whatever information you want into it. So if you were going to rent a car or rent out a house or something in Airbnb, all you would have to do is basically Put the information in like okay you're going to check in on april 7th at three o'clock you're going to check out april 11th at 10 o'clock this is how much is going to cost you know this is how you get in and whatever information that you are going to have embedded into it I'm just going to go back to the regular street so that I don't have to deal with uh, the noise of the traffic and then that token becomes your unique NFT that you can then sell at a price. And whoever has that NFT, you know, has access to whatever you want them to have access to. So again, real world applications. I thought, I thought that it was a pretty decent pick because no one was really talking about it. It hadn't been subject to any pumps and it's still fairly new to trade. And the team behind it looks pretty solid, you know? And I love the fact that it has a real world use so that even though crypto is going more mainstream right now, 
these are mainstream applications that regular people like you or me will be able to get use out of it as opposed to just being something that solves a problem that really I don't understand. You know, what, what, what the heck does, does layer two solutions for Ethereum, like how, how exactly does that work? A layer two solution for something like Ethereum. Like I know what it's supposed to do, but how does it work? How does the technology between Uniswap version three, like what exactly do you do to make that work? I don't understand it. I'm not smart enough to figure that out, but I know that it's valuable and I know that it'll get the price moving, but something like what VeChain does or what SmartKey does is easy for someone like me to understand because I can actually engage with it physically. So that's what I thought in the week before I decided to get into it. They had a couple of AMAs, one of them with KuCoin on their Telegram. And they also released their White Paper 1.0. And white papers are basically, it's basically a document that lets you know what they're doing, how they plan on doing it, what's their roadmap. Basically just give you the nitty gritty of what they're trying to do and how they're trying to do it. And I also looked at the price and saw that since it became kind of publicly tradable around the either the end of December to the beginning of January, price has been pretty steady. Well, you know, gradually increasing. I think they might have done like a pre-sale or something. And then when it came out, it was like 15 cents. And it had gotten up to maybe around 40-ish. But since January, it was hanging around between, you know, 30 to 35 cents or whatever. And that's kind of where it was holding before the AMAs and the white paper. Figured that was a good time to get in. But as you know, with pretty much any kind of investment, as soon as you get into something, that's when the price falls off a cliff and no one can explain why. So I haven't been doing so great. It's kind of holding at around 29, yeah, let's just say 27 to 31 cents right now. Yeah. And admittedly, it's a bit discouraging when you saw everything else kind of just going up, even things that really don't have, uh, you know, it doesn't have any real utility that people actually want, like BTT. That's the uh, BitTorrent token. When I saw the BitTorrent token, I saw it so long ago and I was like, man, I feel like this could have a Dogecoin effect. People see how cheap it is and they go, man, you mean that if I just put $100 into this, I could have 20, 30,000 coins? And you get so obsessed with how many coins that you actually get for how much money you put in. And I'm like, of course you're gonna have a crap ton of coins when the darn thing costs fractions of a penny. <clears throat> and uh, I had a feeling that people were gonna start buying it up just for that reason, looking for that quick pump, searching for that goal of if we can just, well, look at that, can you see that? I wonder if you can see. It's a nice landscape. Wish I could slow down, but I'm going downhill. And I think there's a bug on my glasses. Hang on. I'm gonna try to knock this bug off my glasses. <sighs> you see that? Where was I? So, kind of felt that people were gonna start buying that up just because it was, you know, cheap. And then you got the psychological 
um, incentive to be like, all we got to do is get to one cent. And if you get in enough, early enough, and you get to one cent, that could possibly mean like a 3x, a 4x, you know, kind of just depending on when you get in. You know, that's what it could mean for you. So I think it had that going for it as well. And uh, lo and behold, that's exactly what it did. It pumped to over one cent. Almost got to two cents. But uh, yeah. Of course, this is not trying to tell anybody that you should buy something like Smart Key, which is on KuCoin if you're looking for a major exchange. And that's where you could find it. But I just like the concept behind it. And, uh, you know, I think it could really have some good usage. It's all about if they can get the word out. You never know. Something like this that's not doing so great right now. It could absolutely blow up tomorrow. That this guy is doing some landscaping. I'm going to go buy him and hopefully... I don't want to run over the guy's cord, but I'm going to have to. I don't like sharing the sidewalk, narrow sidewalks with the pedestrians because, you know, I do feel like the sidewalk is for pedestrians and that I should not be riding on the sidewalk like that. But I only do it when there's too narrow. But I also try to keep things nice and smooth on the pavement. I don't like going off the road. I don't like riding in the dirt and hitting bumps and hopping curbs and stuff. I'm pretty sure this bike can handle that to an extent. You know, I just, just don't like doing it. You know, I just don't want to risk anything happening to it. But anyway, it seems like when I get on this bike and start talking, the only thing I can really think about is cryptocurrency. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, because, you know, we're always told by the wealthy folks among us that we should invest our money more, that we should maybe stop buying so many iPhones and Playstations and make the money work for you. Well, that's what I'm doing, you fat cats. It just works out that when you're dealing with crypto, things have a tendency to move faster, a lot faster than the traditional stock market. All right, now they can go around. So, we're just going to continue that, and hopefully we'll be able to get out before the bears take over, and have a nice little, you know, add to the, the savings account, This is always a good idea to have one, if you can't have one, if you don't have one already. Um, let's see, what else? Other than that, not too much going on. Um, I did get my first uh, COVID vaccination shot going on uh, maybe a couple weeks back. So I'll get my second one. Let me 
get my second one maybe next week, maybe late next week. If not late next week, if I can find an appointment uh, early the week after that. That's when I'll try to get the second shot. Hopefully it doesn't knock me on my butt, but it might. I didn't have any effects from the first shot. None at all. Outside of my arm being a little sore, but you know, whatever. But nothing else. So and keep that streak going. That'd be great. Then give a couple weeks after that, I'll finally be able to see my parents again in person. Beyond glass. With no mask. That would be nice. I know I just said no mask, but I do not mind masks at all. I actually like my masks. I will continue to wear it until it is deemed that we no longer need them. feels good to be going downhill like that. That's not alarming at all. But anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for hanging out with me as I uh, went for this little ride on my birthday. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again later.